Hi. Welcome to another episode of Pounds and Inches. This is our kind of our weight loss health uh, board game review series where we're going to bring you guys a new review every time either I lose a pound or I lose an inch. Uh, today I'm down another pound, which makes this episode 417 and 158. All right, and today we are going to be talking about Zen Garden. If you follow our um, series at all, you'll know that one of the earlier games that we reviewed, we picked up at a Goodwill drop. So Mayfair, before they went out of business, were, was getting rid of a bunch of their inventory, and they dropped off a bunch of um, their games at Goodwill's. And we drove about an hour and a half away to a Goodwill that got one of these drops and we picked up like 10 to 15 games having no idea what any of them were about. Yeah, it was a really fun adventure. We picked up some games that we had heard of, some games that we had not heard of. Uh, and this one uh, was one that we, was not on our radar, one we had never heard of, but we figured it was worth a shot. So what do you get in the box? This is a tile laying game, so obviously you're going to get a lot of tiles. Uh, they have two purposes, either the color themselves or on the back there are some points and some patterns and symbols as well. So a lot of different tiles. These little rocks which serve different purposes as well. Uh, two rule books, which we'll get into that later, and a uh, the bag for to pull the, the tiles from. Yeah, there's two different ways to play this game. There's essentially two different games in the box and with that there's two different sets of rule books. All right, so uh, one of the first versions of the game is just called Zen Garden. And that is pretty simple. You are just uh, laying out tiles, trying to make this patterns on this shared pool. Uh, you have a secret pattern that you're trying to work towards. You need to build it in two different colors. And once you do that, you reveal your pattern and you get five points. Everyone else then goes around the table. They try to complete their pattern twice as well. And they get kind of less and less points just because they did it later in the game. You get bonus points if you use no wilds. You get bonus points if you were able to use, you know, squeaking a third, a third version of your pattern. Um, there's other ways to get some points as well. Uh, the second version of the game is called Rock Garden. It's very similar. There's a shared board. You're trying to complete patterns, uh, but instead of just the points, you use these little these little uh, cubes as rocks, which are going to claim sections of the board and allow you to uh, kind of get ahead of the game and plan ahead and score some extra points that way. Yeah, so one of the things that I like about this game, um, I like any games that can use two purposes for one tile. So to have that pattern or to have the tile itself, I just like that dual purpose of it. Yeah, um, this is a really fun game to play. It's very peaceful, as the name might suggest. It feels very zen. Um, uh, but that's, for me at least, where the, the positives end. Anything else do you want to say? I really enjoy this game. I really enjoy this game. I do like this game. Now Ryan is just going to go and tear this game apart. <laughs> I do not enjoy this game for a couple of reasons. The gameplay itself is very fun. It's very fine. However, just for starters, the rule book is a disaster. Uh, there is one rule book for the Zen Garden, another rule book for Rock Garden. Part of the rules for Zen Garden are in the rule book for Rock Garden. Uh, and this could have been much better served by just making one book part A and part B. And that's just one of the production problems. They probably could have just made one game and given it some variant options as well, one of which would be, be the Rock Garden variant. Um, because what's going to happen is every time we play this game, we have to reread the rules. We've forgotten between the two different sets of rules. They are different, there's similarities, and there's differences. We never remember which one of the two we're playing. We always confuse them. Um, Ryan says we, he's just being polite. He's the one that has to reread the rule book, which is probably why I still enjoy the game. That's, that's very possible. Uh, but yeah, this rule book is a disaster in terms of how it's set up. Uh, it's very difficult to remember which one you're playing and which one is going on at the time. Um, the tiles themselves are not great components. The rocks, these, these wooden cubes are, are very bland. The bag that you get for the tiles is very thinly made. It's already fraying and falling apart. Um, so production-wise, this is, is not <laughs> is not a game that I can recommend component-wise. The gameplay itself is actually pretty fun. Yeah. I really wish they just boiled it down to one great game rather than try to make two okay games that are confusing. Um, we tried to find the price on this game and we discovered that it was out of print. Um, 
If you really wanted it, you could get it new for $75 on Amazon, and I do not recommend that. I did enjoy it, but not for $75. Yeah, after Mayfair went out of business, this is one of the ones that fell by the wayside. Um, maybe there's some used copies floating around. Maybe you'll see our copy floating around. No, 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 it's the same. <laughs> um, so uh, this is a game that um, we can recommend for people who like the tile laying games. Someone's looking for a peaceful experience, not too much blocking, not too much aggression. Yeah, Ryan mentioned earlier, he it's not so much that he would like to recommend this game, but if you want to be taught this game, <laughs> yeah, yeah, then all more power to you, but that it was very hard to teach because of the rule book. If you could find someone who knows it already, not me, but someone else <laughs> who can teach this game to you. Um, there's going to be a, a fun and enjoyable experience for you if you can get past the rules. Um, yes, this is uh, Zen Garden. Bethany approved. Ryan, pass. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, we'll talk to you guys later. Please leave us any comments, your thoughts on the game, what games you're playing, or just on your own health journey. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll be seeing you again soon with another episode of Pounds and Inches. All right. Bye, Bye. guys.